Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Major J. Today we're going to be styling some great pieces that I picked up at Target. Let's get into it. <music> We have this geometric Ava and Viv top in a size 2X. I paired it with some Ava and Viv jeans. These jeans are in a size 20W or 21, 20 women's, however you want to say it. Um, I was a little iffy about the jeans because of that little flare leg, but it actually looked pretty cute. I honestly don't think you could wear anything else but boots with it because it's a little funky at the bottom and it probably looks like you're wearing high waters because it is ankle length. I threw on this Forever 21 vest that I've had forever. Forever, forever, 21, yeah. <laughs> that I've had forever. Accessorize it with some jewelry, a belt, and that's actually a crossbody bag from Marc Jacobs, but I turned it into a bum bag. What do they call it? A fanny bag, a bum bag, I don't know. So, moving on. But wait, if you got to this point, you need to hit that subscribe button, because you know you like me. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but no, for real. Go ahead, subscribe, thanks. In true fall fashion, we're gonna get into this brown look. So the top is the only thing from Target. It is in a new day button down that's like a full leather. It's in a size double XL, it's not plus size, but I could actually button it if I really wanted to, but I just left it open because I thought it would be cute. I paired it with some stacked pants that I got from Fashion Nova and these boots that you've seen me wear a million times from Macy's. And of course, tie it all together with my Fendi Boston bag. Cute, simple, I'm loving, I'm loving the brown. It's so funny because brown is not something that I used to wear, but you know, everybody's into the whole nude and neutral colors. So I don't mind it, you know, I'm getting into it, I'm getting into it. So here we have these high rise track pants. These are Ava and Viv and they're actually in a size 1X. Ava and Viv is very funny with sizing. Sometimes I can go down like all the way to an X and sometimes I have to go all the way to a three. It really just depends. You kind of have to just play with it. I paired it with a crop top that I already had and then threw on an Ava and Viv crop denim jacket that I also picked up and that's in a size 1X. Super stretchy, so I could have went a little smaller, but I don't mind the 1X. I think it's perfectly fine. Uh, this is a cute, comfy outfit to kind of just run errands. Just added a little backpack to make it a little trendier, but this is definitely something I would wear to like run in and out of the store. So I've been going back and forth with this whole shacket mentality. Is shacket still in? I don't know, but I thought this shacket was super, super cute. I love the baby blue color. That's the only thing on me that's from Target. Well, the shoes are actually from Target too, but they're very, very old, so I'm not even gonna get your hopes up. They are a new day little slides that I love. I've had them for years. I paired them with some boyfriend jeans that I got from Fashion Nova and just the white tank top underneath, nothing special. And then a vintage Marc Jacobs bucket bag that I've had for probably over 10 years at this point. I like the light colors, even though it's fall, it's a shacket, it's still giving you, I want summer to come back, but uh, you know, I guess I'll wear something a little bit on the fall side. So the shacket is from Wild Fable. It is in a size XL. They didn't have a double XL, but the XL actually fit. I probably could have went a little bit bigger just to give it that oversized look, but I don't necessarily mind the extra large. I think the double XL or the extra large would do just. So this ribbed sweater set is from Ava and Viv. They are both in a size 2X. I honestly am not a fan of it. The top was actually pretty loose and the bottom was loose as well. But honestly, if I would have went a size smaller, they would have been straight high waters. To kind of not make it look so frumpy, I just threw on a denim jacket, paired it with an old wall fable crossbody bag that I have, and threw on some Converse's just to give it that cute casual look. Moving into another casual look, this is actually one of my favorites, this Bambi long sleeve crop top. Um, this is in the size double XL and it was actually on clearance. Ooh, we love a bargain, honey. I paired it with the same boyfriend jeans from Fashion Nova as well as my Converse Strike Run Hike. I don't know what they're called. I do this all the time. I will tag them below. And it's cute. It's simple. It's like I'm not doing too much, but I'm doing a lot. And yeah, I'm here for it. Over here, we have this mock neck turtleneck i guess it's a turtleneck because it goes up pretty high um tank top 
a sweater crop top i don't know it's a lot i'll tag it all below but this top is from law fable the jacket i have from eloquy it's a leather motor jacket that i got from them i'll tag it in the description box as well because i'm pretty sure they still have it in stock just around some jeans and my adidas which the pink is a little off but not enough that it bothers me so i'm here for it Again, this is definitely like a, I'm not trying too hard, but I did some things, so look at me. Last but not least, we have this Rolling Stones graphic tee, which I actually have it on. It's actually a sweatshirt, not a t-shirt. Um, it is in a size double XL, and it's supposed to be part of like a Halloween theme. I guess like these are supposed to be things on it. Um, I just threw on some black Fashion Nova jeans with some busted knees, <laughs> just to kind of give my belt a little pop. I threw on my gold Air Max 97s. And yeah, that's the look, that's what I'm giving. If you guys have followed me for a while, you know I don't like doing too much. I do just enough to say I did something, but I'ma still keep it cute and casual. Okay. So we have hit the end of my Target run. If you guys are not subscribed to my channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching and I will catch you later.